Welcome back, goblins. My name is Apoptosis, and today we are going to be taking a look at the stats that you can get as a rogue in the Burning Crusade. We're going to be going over agility, strength, attack power, expertise, hit, all of those good stats and more. And we're also going to go over exactly what they're going to do for you in the Burning Crusade, as it has changed a little bit from vanilla classic WoW. As always, guys, if this has been a helpful video for you, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel and check me out on Twitch. I'll be live over at twitch.tv slash apoptosis808. But without further ado, let's just get into it. All right, so the first stat here is also the most important one that you're probably going to be getting as a rogue and the one that you're going to see the most often. It's, of course, agility. Agility is one of the best stats that rogues can get. It affects a lot of different things for you that the other stats just won't do. Let's go over some of the breakpoints. One agility point is going to give you one attack power, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio there. You get 1% critical strike rating after you get 40 points of agility, so it's gone up a little bit in Burning Crusade compared to Classic WoW. You will get 1% dodge uh, after you get 20 points of agility, and you also get 2 armor per point of agility as well. So if we look at it, to kind of sum all of that up together, if we look at it at 40 points of agility here, that's going to give you 40 attack power, 1% critical strike rating, 2% dodge, and that's also going to give you 80 armor. So it's a pretty great stat, and that is what you're going to see on basically all of your gear as a rogue in Burning Crusade. The second stat I want to go over here is strength. Now, strength is definitely not as good for rogues as agility is. Strength only gives you attack power. It is a one-to-one -one ratio again. One strength will give you one attack power. However, it's going to be pretty rare for you to see this stat on a lot of your gear. Um, unlike Classic WoW, Burning Crusade, really, the rogue gear just has agility on it. That's it. Really not much strength at all. Uh, but if you happen to get strength on it, it's not a bad piece of gear. It's just not going to do as much for you as agility will. Okay, so the next few stats are really what we like to basically call secondary stats. They're still very good, and you're going to see them on your gear, uh, but they're basically subsets of what agility is going to give you anyways. So if you're going to get a ton of this stat, maybe over a little bit of agility, that might be more helpful in a piece of gear in general. Um, attack power is basically a one-to-one -one conversion, right? One attack power gives you the one attack power. No brainer there. Uh, but it does work out to about an, a one DPS per 14 attack power for your main weapon. And then half of a DPS, 0.5 DPS per 14 attack power for your off weapon. So you can see uh, in order to increase your DPS just from attack power alone, it's going to take quite a lot. The next one I want to go over is critical strike rating. You'll get 1% critical strike after 22.1 critical strike rating. Now, I want to make something very clear here, and a lot of people don't actually understand how critical strike works. Um, let's say you have 10% critical strike. That does not mean that 10% of your attacks are actually going to crit. Um, I will go over this further in detail when we go over hit and expertise. However, just kind of keep that in mind. We're going to be going over some attack tables and things like that. We're going to see exactly how critical strikes work as a rogue and every other class actually in the Burning Crusade. Now, the third one here is haste rating. Um, haste is a new stat to BC. They had some things that were kind of like haste in Classic WoW, like slice and dice and some trinkets and gear like Kiss of the Spider. Uh, basically, it just makes you attack faster. Um, you will get 1% haste for every 15.8 haste rating. Uh, this is going to be a very good stat for rogues in general, as just attacking faster is obviously going to be really great. And it makes um, a lot of gear like Dragon Spine Trophy um, very, very sought after and valuable for a lot of melee classes. The last two stats I want to talk about are hit rating and expertise. In order to fully understand these two stats, we need to understand how attacks work in Burning Crusade and World of Warcraft in general. When you attack, there's five things that could potentially happen from that. Number one, it hits, and that hit could potentially be a crit. More on this later. Number two, it gets parried. Number three, it hits, but it turns into a glancing blow. We'll also go over this in a bit, don't worry. Number four, you miss, and number five, it gets dodged. So 
We're going to focus on four and five. Uh, that's where hit rating and expertise come in. Hit rating, the higher your hit rating is, the lower chance you have at missing an attack. You have a 28% chance to miss with your wide attacks or your auto attacks. That's, that's just an attack where you don't use any abilities against level 73 creatures and monsters and bosses. Uh, and you have a 9% chance to miss a special attacks. We call those yellow hits. So your eviscerate, your sinister strike, backstab, all of those abilities, you have 9% chance to miss. Dodge works similarly. You have a 6.5% chance to be dodged on any attack that you do against the level 73 raid boss. So we want to hit specific caps for those two stats. For expertise, we want to get up to 6.5% so that we can nullify that 6.5% dodge chance. If you reach that 6.5% expertise, you will never be dodged so long as you're attacking from behind the monster. Uh, and for hit rating, we want to at minimum hit 9% hit rating. The reason for that is so that you never miss, miss any of those special attacks. You still will have a chance to miss some of those auto attacks, uh, but you can always get higher and higher hit ratings and reduce that more and more. So how do you get to those soft caps and hard caps for hit rating and expertise? Well, that's where it gets a, a little bit more tricky to understand, but it shouldn't be too bad. So weapon expertise is actually broken down into expertise rating, which turns into expertise skill, which turns into expertise percentage. So typically your gear that you're going to get out in Burning Crusade will have expertise rating on it. Um, that rating you need 16 points of, which turns into four expertise score, and that four expertise score gives you one expertise percentage. You can basically cut out the middleman and just say you need 16 uh, expertise rating in order to get 1% expertise. But the reason why I even bring up the score in the middle is actually because rogues have a weapon expertise talent. So you're going to be taking that as a combat spec rogue in Burning Crusade, and that gives you 10 expertise score. So that is much, much better than getting 10 expertise rating because just off of taking that talent alone, you receive 2.5% expertise percentage, which means you only need another 4% to go. Uh, so it makes it quite a bit easier for you to reach that cap than other classes. Um, and basically I've broken it down. It does require 64 points of expertise rating, which gives you 16 expertise score which is that additional 4% expertise. Now, unlike hit, and I want to make sure that this is, uh, this is very important here, um, you do not want to go over expertise at all. So once you hit 6.5%, there is absolutely no benefit to go over it. You want to get as close to it without going over as you can. Uh, you need to make sure you hit that 6.5%, but you really, really, really don't want to go over it. Anything going over that is going to just be completely wasted stats, where hit rating is much more forgiving. So hit rating, again, we want to hit that 9% hit cap, but it's not a bad idea to even go over that because that's just going to make your auto attacks hit more, which also increases the amount of critical strikes that you get. Again, I'm going to go over that in just a second. It'll make more sense. But in order to get 1% of hit, you need to have 15 or 16 points of hit rating. The reason why it's 15 or 16 is because you actually need 15.8 I don't really know why they did it that way, but they, they did. So sometimes you'll get a percentage off of 15 points. Sometimes you'll get a percentage off of 16. It just depends on how many extra you have. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that you get that up to 9% at minimum before you really start going out and doing some serious raids. Uh, but going over that is never going to be a bad idea for rogues. So that's actually really all the stats that we really need to pay attention to as a rogue, but I wanted to also provide a way to kind of bring it all together and understand some of those trickier concepts, as well as explain what glancing blows are and how critical strike actually works, because I think it's a pretty big misunderstanding. So in order to do that, we're going to reference something called an attack table. So an attack table is essentially a sample of attacks, typically 100, 
um, that can show you and sort of break down the numbers a little bit easier. And I'm going to be referencing that in front of me now. I have to look at the notes here. Um, but we're going to look at two different attack tables. So the first one is going to be if you're level 70 and you're attacking a level 73 raid boss in a raid, uh, you're attacking from behind. Again, we want to really make sure that we attack from behind. If you're attacking from the front, you the dodge chance goes much higher and you can also get parried. So we're not going to we're not going to deal with that. We're not going to fuss with that. Um, we're also going to assume that you have 0% hit, you have 0% expertise and you have 10% crit. Okay? So this is basically just no stats uh, except for 10% crit. Um, and what you'll find is pretty interesting and it looks pretty awful. So you're going to miss 28 of those attacks that you do out of 100 you're going to miss 28 of them so again that's that 28 percent miss chance that's built in and keep in mind of those 28 up to nine of those potentially could be yellow hits um again that that could be eviscerate that could be sinister strike nine percent could potentially be yellow hits you are going to glancing blow 25 times now what is glancing blow why is it going to happen 25 times and why haven't i mentioned anything to do about it well that's the reason is actually pretty simple glancing blow is built in um to essentially your character versus their defense rating and there is absolutely nothing that you can do about it in the burning crusade in vanilla world of warcraft there was something called weapon skill um, and weapon skill could actually increase your glancing blow damage uh, but it would never get rid of your glancing blow chance. So in the Burning Crusade, you have a static 25% chance to glancing blow as a rogue, as a melee user, and you can do nothing about that. That is that is forever going to be uh, on your character until the end of this expansion. Um, and a glancing blow deals 70% of your weapon damage. So it's basically just a hit that didn't strike perfectly i suppose is the way that the lore is supposed to work and it only deals a percentage of the damage keep in mind i mean 70 percent is not too bad but obviously it's not great so moving on six or seven of your hits are going to be dodged um the reason why i say six or seven is because it's 6.5 percent chance so there's a half a percent chance that it's going to be dodged and a half a percent chance that it's going to hit. We'll just say seven for the simplicity of this example here, which means that you will hit 40 times and four of those times are going to be crits. Now, this is how critical strike chance works. Um, before in this example, I mentioned that we have a 10% chance to crit. But again, that is not 10% of your 100 attacks. That's 10% of the attacks that you have hit. So instead of it being 10 critical strikes in this entire table, you're only getting four because you've only hit 40 times. Okay, so now as a comparison here, we're going to look at a character who has um, the proper stats. We're going to look again, your level 70, but this time you have a 9% hit rating, a 6.5% expertise, uh, the same 10% crit, and you're attacking a raid boss level 73 from behind 100 times. So let's look at the same numbers again here. You're going to miss 19 times, but none of these misses can be yellow hits, so you'll never miss um, a special attack like a Viscerate or Sinister Strike. You're going to Glancing Blow 25 times. Again, nothing we can do about that. That's just a part of the game, and that's just how it is. Um, none of your hits are going to be dodged. So again, you will never have any of your hits dodged, and they will all just be hits. That's great, and which, re which essentially results in you hitting 56 times, six of which are going to be crits. So if we just compare those last two numbers here, when you had 0% hit, 0% expertise, you only hit 40 times, four of which were crits. So that was 36 normal hits and four crits. But this time you hit 56 times. So you've increased the amount of times you've hit by 16 and you increase the number of crits by two. And again, that is because of the way that Critical Strike, it just scales off of how many times you've actually hit the boss. So I hope that these attack tables have made it a little bit um, easier to understand, a little bit less confusing about stats in World of Warcraft. 
Uh, I hope that this has helped you understand expertise and hit rating and glancing blows and how critical strike works and what we should uh, what we should be focusing on. I'm going to put up a sample basically of like a stat priority um, in order uh, for you guys. So it's a little bit easier for you to have a reference here at the end of the video. But again, guys, I really appreciate you watching through all the way to the end. If you have watched all the way through, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash apoptosis. 808. Feel free to leave your comments down below and I will be uh, able to answer them as best I can. Thanks guys and take care.